Hello and welcome to Factorio Single Belt. I'm Cretio. In this episode, we don't have any iron gear wheels over here, so let's go and grab a few of those. Oh, none left. Okay. But in this episode, I think. Oh, no. I was about to say that I think it's time to move the uh, smelting up here. But we can't do that, we need belts to do that. And we don't have the belts yet, so we will not do that. Then what will we do? Maybe we will kind of build the station area. Yeah, we could, or we could at least do blueprints of it. Oh, but we need, oh, and we actually want to change this. I realized when I was watching uh, another person playing that this is not the setup we want. Let's call for the train. You please go to oil unload and you stay until time past 30. And time past 30. Yeah, actually later on we actually want this to be set to 10 make sure that we can refuel the train uh, if we can't refuel the train well then we might be in trouble but for now let's go to manual I just want to make sure that we have all of the space needed and let's create two more tanks then we can have uh, two tanks by each wagon and we still can have a way to walk between the wagons so the idea is Put them like that and like that, and then we com uh, we bind them together with uh, with uh, pipes. <laughs> Sorry, we bind them together with pipes in these locations, and then yeah, we could use this to pump out the stuff. Oh, we need more pumps as well. Yeah. One and two. We actually need two more of those and two more of those because of course I'm gonna do the same done at this station. There's no reason to have it set up one way in one station and another way in another station. But we have quite a few stuff to be get produced before we get there. So let's do, let's set up what we can. Mm. There we go, and there we go, and oh, we need more medium power poles. What is it? I guess it's uh, steel we don't have a lot of. Let's go and grab a bunch of that. There we go. Now we can create a bunch of uh, power poles at least. Let's grab a bunch of uh, copper as well. And since we're anyway over here, let's grab iron gear wheels. It's only like a hundred, so it doesn't make sense to do anything with it really. But let's grab it, then it's not in the way of the next setup. So I think we will use lamps like that. And then we will have power poles outside the lamps. And then we do have space for refueling the trains. Uh, and we still have uh, everything lit up, so I, I think this works out fine. Yeah, I'm looking at this. It's not that long until we have gotten everything built. Okay, let's... I guess let's... Oh, we don't have neither lamps nor uh, power poles. Oh, we need more lamps. Do we have lamps over here? Yes, we do. Let's grab a bunch of lamps. Do we have any power poles? If we do, then we don't need a bunch of lamps. We can just use that. But uh, I mean, of course we still need lamps. That Those two things have nothing to do with each other. Oh, we can't do it like that over here, coming to think of it. Because if we do it like that, and then we have the power pole, 
Then we don't have space enough for the belt. Okay, we need to switch it over here to have just the power pole. And then we can have the lamp, oh, the lamp on the other side of the rail. We should do the same over here. Oh, get rid of that. Because we do want it to be the same way everywhere. So let's just place the power poles like that. Uh, and then we continue with lamps. Yeah, this is looking strange. There is a reason for it looking strange. Because it is strange. Oh, no. And here we have another set and then we are waiting for power poles and for everything else but we are constructing our last laser turret so it should be constructed fairly soon this can be the uh, everything else let's just keep it as it is and we are creating tanks there we go we want that one gap and then we want pumps there and there oh do we have any pipes yes we do let's grab all of them and then we put, put the pipe there pipe there and we just go underground do we have underground pipes no then let's create a bunch Oh, not those, I guess. But we need a few of those, so let's make sure it gets created. And we do have some uh, power poles. Yeah, that's good. Then we get some lights. And now let's continue with the power poles in all of the other spaces we have. There we go, here we go. Yes, we get everything sorted now. Not at all. That's a lie, but... Uh, but it could have been that we got everything sorted. And that it's the idea that counts. Okay, we got all of that fixed. What now? What do we want to do? Well, we can, of course, go and grab the iron gear wheels again. Oh, I know what we want to do. While we are getting more... Oh! We only have one mi uh, electric mining drill that is mining iron. That means we have... Uh, we are out of iron. Yeah, basically out of iron at least. Which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. It is a good thing, but it's also a thing that makes it hard to get iron gear wheels. So the next thing that we want to do... We want to get iron, but we do have a bit of iron over here, so we can... Oh, I'm stuck. We can just, uh, just go like this. I don't know. And I don't know. And then we get some iron onto the belt. And that should hopefully be enough to smelt. Oh, that's more than I want. One of those should be enough. I think. That is hopefully enough to smelt. No, I want both of them anyway. I'm changing my mind. And yeah, I'm choosing the ones that have the uh, longest... Uh, the longest... Uh, streak the long the, the most amount of iron basically but while that is being handled hopefully automatically let's go into the train and let's go to oil one and down there we do have yeah we do have more storage tanks and more pumps and lights and power poles that means we can set everything up on here as well and I'm thinking do we have yeah, we can create a bunch of radars let's do that oh yeah let's get 
that removed that removes most of the uh, oil wells but we still have this one we want to get that out of power as well there we go now we don't have any store any oil store except in here but we oh we can let's uh, okay let's go back no we don't even know where our uh, our barrels are let's create a barrel or two well where is the production of barrels I did it like two episodes ago come on barrel there we go one steel plate and how much does it I don't know how much it uh, can handle but we will find out 50 okay so we want one more barrel There we go, all of that oil have been taken care of, and now we can put the storage tanks in place, one, two, and over, oh, and we have completely messed up the power over here, let's get the lights in, in the same spots as we have in the, uh, in the main base, the main station which is still technically a temporary station there we go and now all we need to do is connect it to the oh no that's not all we need to do we need to connect these two with each other oh. and then connect those and then we need to connect the oil to this one Okay, so if we do that, and then we go underground there, and we go underground here, just to be able to run through, then everything should be connected. We need a big power pole over here, and we need medium power poles. Well, actually, we only need one over here. And we are producing oil again. Great. Actually, quite a bit of uh, crude oil in the train right now. Not bad at all. And of course, there is basically nothing in the uh, in the tanks, but that's kind of uh, expected. And we created a bunch of radars. Let's see if we can figure out where to plant them down. Oh, maybe we need to take care of this base. Let's do that. Um, there we go yeah let's wait with the actual attack until it's daytime but we could prepare and there we go oh yeah let's have a look at the base oh uh, one big worm medium worms there are way too many worms over here two big worms oh no hmm let's see do we have the tank and then i'm not thinking about the tank i'm thinking about the uh, the car tank kind of oh yeah because this is gonna be pretty hard let's see if we search there we go yeah this tank and then we have this that's a storage tank okay so this we need automobilism which is fine but then we need military free and tanks that's a bit of, that's a quite substantial amount of research to get that. Let's have a look at the, uh, at the time. Oh, it's becoming daytime now. 
At least we are not running out of power anymore. Oh no, no, don't do that. There we go. Now let's... Let's get some uh, turrets in place and then we go to the left, I think about here. And then we get some more turrets in place. Oh, come on. Okay, and that means the attack is have started. But let's grab these turrets before we go forward anymore. And hopefully it's possible to see now. There we go, retreat. And then we go forward. Okay. We are taking care of whatever we can reach from that power pole. Let's go for the next one. Oh, that hurts. And we can do a bit more damage over there. But we do want to repair this. Yeah, take the big bite or the big uh, worm down, please. We still have 12 turrets left, so we can go for the, the last biter. Or the last worm, I mean. Without any real problems. Okay, so there we go. That's that base. Let's uh, grab everything. And then all we need is to find the uh, proper location for a radar. And plank that down. And then of course we have to do the same on the right side. This is the first game I've played where I actually think about where I place the radars. Well, first thing is that we have to think about uh, that we do want to place the radars. I usually forget that. Oh. Yeah, we need to go up and to the left. Around here, I would guess. Oh, further to the left, further up. Here. Okay, then we are too far up, but... Oh, look at this. Coal, copper, and a little bit of iron in this. That's gonna be a mess to, to handle. Okay, right about where we are, we can place the uh, radar. There we go, and we need... Oh, that I want to do. We need a power pole. Let's just go straight to the right to our big, uh, to our railway, where we do have, uh, mm, oh, where we do have power. And have a look, yes, that radar is connected. Now we want radars over here and over here as well. That means we have to take care of this space. Oh. Okay. But I'm thinking I should go up to the base again. I should probably have taken the train. Oh well. Yeah, I should have taken the train. And then uh, we should have a look. Oh. Hopefully the train isn't coming now. I'm looking more at the minimap than on the uh, actual map over here. Yeah, so walking up to the base, see what is happening with, uh, with the iron. Do we get any iron gear wheels? Do we get any iron at all? And after that, Get some more belts, and then we need to get an iron station, iron train station set up. Since we are out of iron, that is basically what is most important. Oh, and it looks like all of the iron have stopped, which is actually good news, because we could definitely shorten the blue belts by not having to worry about all of that. But let's see, have we gotten some more 
That's not a lot of iron gear wheels. Let's get some more iron onto the belt. But we do get a bit of iron going all the way around. I'm thinking, is it because the uh, these iron chests are full? Yeah, it might be. There we go. Let's create. Oh, can we do that? Okay, two iron plates per. Yeah, we can do that. Let's create a bunch of iron gear wheels manually. And then we put that in place. And then we handle all of these uh, all of these miners. And we shorten what, whatever we can. Because we have no need for it. Oh, let's have a look at the map. Oh, can we see? We can't see any ore over here. Okay, that's good. Let's grab all of the miners. Oh, come on. And there we go. And once we got all of the miners, it's easy to see where we can uh, get the belt. Where we can change the belt without affecting anything. Okay, so this whole part of the belt, we don't need it. Let's have the belt go from here straight up. Oh, uh, but that requires us to have a few belts to start with. Okay, let's walk over and grab whatever belts we have. Which isn't many, I know that, but it's more than it's more than we have. 72, that was way more than I expected. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, so this should go up here, this should go around and over here. Let's start with this one. That way we empty out this part of it. Oh, and we could actually grab the belts while we are at it. Okay, let's go for the next part. There we go. We have the other belt as well. And now we can grab all of these. I was hoping that, oh, of course, you have to go a little bit after. Otherwise, he will pick up what he's standing on. And for obvious reasons, that won't work. So let's get these small pieces of belt. And then we just go over here and grab everything. And we got that piece, okay. So we got it shortened like that. We could shorten it over here if we want to, I think. No, we could shorten it over here, but that uh, it's not worth it, I think. This, however, nah. I mean, we could shorten it and go straight down over here. But that would require the power pole, and we wouldn't save that many belts. So it's not... Honestly, it's probably worth it, but I can't be bothered. Let's have a look. Is there anything else we can do right now? Well, we can pick up all of the iron gear wheels, of course. Oh, we already have a few more of those. There we go. And do we have any belts? No, not the red ones. Let's pick up all of the blue ones. And we might have enough belts to actually finish this. Of course I'm talking about this area, not the, uh, not the iron station. We don't have enough belts for that, not yet. OK. 
Okay, that's all of those. I can run here. That's uh, way faster. And then we can go like like that. I forgot if we want to go upwards, not down. Yeah, yay! Our belts are fully blue. Everything is blue now, as far as I'm aware, at least. Yay, that's great. Actually, we don't need this station right now. Because we have a fair amount of uh, stored iron over here. I think it's better to use our belts up here. To get the factory moved and fixed and everything. Wait, why is this not? Oh, we don't have enough lubricant. That's, uh, of course, a bit of a problem. If you put it like that. But we could get more, I think. Yeah, we don't have any crude oil. If we are requesting this train to go to unload. Then we will get a little bit more resources a little bit more oil and a little bit more lubricant and more belts because right now we have 96 which is more than we have had before of course it is but it's still not a lot and i'm thinking what we want to do first is the copper smelting and the actual actually the iron smelting but if we do copper and steel, then we can fix the iron afterwards. So let's see what we can actually do. Okay. So that's the first line. The second line is over here. And as usual, it's right beside the first line and then we just go to the right and we're out of belts yay but this is what should go over there and then we just go back on this to start to start with i mean we could also shorten the belt here a little bit but that's not a lot either oh look at this there's a fair bit of crude oil over here. Wait. I forgot to put the pump in. We are not getting the oil over here anymore. Whoops. Okay. Let's do it like this. We want a small gap. Then we can have the pump. Where do we have the pump? There we go. There we go, now we are emptying these uh, these tanks. And we should get, yep, these have started again, so we should get more oil, or more uh, lubricant again. Which means more belts. Okay, let's have a look. This one. Yeah, that, that's right. What we wanted to do was to fight these biters and this base, and I guess some bases down here to get some radars in place so let's go and uh, actually do that do we have a few more laser turrets we have one more let's grab that i'm thinking about the storage as well should we should we really have the storage over here or should we move it I mean, it would be a good idea to move it, definitely. But it would be a lot of work as well. And I don't know if we need that work right now. Oh, we don't have any iron. Okay. I was thinking about building the uh, opening over here. But if we don't have any iron, we can't do it. Oh, um, let's have a look. One big worm and a lot of smaller, smaller worms. Yeah, but oh, let's see. 
what we want to do now is set up the power over there. That yeah, that is connected. Oh, let's have a look at this. We do have 22k of iron ore over here. And then I'm thinking set up a power pole over there. And if we go over here and then we start the attack. Oh, come on. Something like that. Then we can go in and we have a fallback. There we go. And now we just go a little bit further. Okay, and a little bit further again. Yep, I knew that was gonna hurt. There we go. We should have everything. Maybe not this base but that we can take out manually or spawn or not base it's not bases in this game it's spawners should we go for this as well let's have a look two big worms nah we don't need to go for that one it's too dangerous uh, and that is in a case where i don't see any gain in actually getting it Okay, so let's uh, let's get some radar planked down. At least one. Okay, and remove everything. Okay, now we just need to find the location for the radar. Over here, maybe. No, further to the right and f definitely further down. Maybe in the cover of this forest. I think it's the right area to the right, but yeah, a bit further down. Yeah, this is the right area. Let's have a look at this space. Big worm, big worm, medium worm. I don't like these spaces. But let's plank the radar over there, I think. And then we just go with, with the power to the left. Back to the track. And we should have a little bit more insight into what the biters are planning. Yeah, but this is, I think it's too close to this space. This base will attack this radar, but not right now, so let's ignore it. Oh, by the way, oh, the pollution is too big from this oil build. Oh, um, we need to kind of stop that. But let's do that when we get on there. We still have one radar to, uh, to plank there in the middle. Oh, you can actually see where the radar will go based on where it's placed on the map. You can see that on the minimap. I did not know that was even possible. That's great. See the blue field? That's where the radar, that's about it. Yeah, the blue field is where the radar will cover. Okay. So then we got radars. Okay, radars galore. We have all of them. Yeah, but we do... Maybe we do want to fight back the biters a bit, but we can't. We don't have the uh, technology. Actually... Let's let's see what we can do. I want power armor. I actually want power armor mark two. Oh yeah, that's modular armor. 
and then power armor and then power armor mark 2 ooh that takes a lot of stuff but if we start with mm, the, the thing is that with the power armor you need to power it as well uh, with the modular armor any kind we want Energy shield mark 2? Oh! I did not know there was a mark 2 version of that. I want the... Where do we have it? The portable fusion reactor. That takes a lot of resources. A lot. But let's go for the uh, modular armor first. We need to have that to get the rest going. Do we need to do anything else with the solar panels? No, I think we are fine until the biters attack and then we will be able to handle it or not. But we will not try to handle it before we need to. Okay, let's stop those two. Then we have three pump jacks. And that will hopefully shrink the uh, pollution just a bit. Oh, and this is halfway full. That's good. Let's go to the unload station. Simply because it's easier for me to use the train than to walk. It's way faster. Yeah, I want the modular armor and then the power armor and then the power armor mark 2. To be able to better fight off the... Uh, Biter bases. Single biters, that is not a big problem really, but the biter bases, it, that is a problem. Oh, um, I didn't realize that, but we can't have this over here because we need a line with fuel over here. Unless we are refueling manually, we could do that. But we might also want to move this station, so let's not worry about it right now. I mean, all of the other stations will be moved up when we have, uh, when this have been emptied out. Then we will move all of the stations up and they will go from this line. Okay, let's see. Belts, please. I just need a million of them. Oh, we don't have enough iron gear wheels. We definitely don't have enough iron gear wheels. Okay, let's drop all of the iron gear wheels over there. It did seem that we don't have enough uh, lubricant either. But yeah, how much is actually being... How much iron are we actually smelting? Just a bit over here. We could double that, I guess. Let's do that. Oh. Trying to hit the uh, right buttons while you are doing other things. I think we can empty out these. Uh, and this one. Then we have a bit more to store other things. Or we can even start to reduce our storage. Yeah, This is already emptied out. Great. Oh, uh, yeah, this isn't getting any big problems to get rid of the stuff. So let's not worry about it. Otherwise I would insert a splitter somewhere. But it seems we don't have to. Okay, so we have handled Baitos. We have uh, we have gotten a bit of belts. We have finished the belts actually. Well, kind of. Six hundred and eight hundred. Let's do that. Let's get everything converted into iron gear wheels and let's. Grab the rest of that iron. Oh, 
iron ore and copper ore. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't need all of that. We don't want that. Oh yeah, we do have the oil that we do need to take care of. Empty oil barrel and put those in place. Grab the empty ones and then we go. Put those in place and anything else? Oh yeah, we did say we wanted two more gates. Oh, but it's going to be a while before those are being produced. Let's see, how are we on iron ore? Well, it's not getting over here yet, so we are fine. How are we on copper ore? Well, most of the... Oh, we have a patch over here that isn't mined. But most of the stuff is properly mined. One point eight K that we have just missed. Let's just mine it. And that's copper, that's iron. Okay, now we are getting here and we have a bit of iron ore still left. That's kind of okay. What more do we want to do in this episode? Hmm. Yeah, I can't come to think of... Well, I can come to think of a lot of things that we want to do, but not necessarily in this episode. Because I think we need to get the, uh, oh, the copper here decimated. I think we need the... Oh, let's go up to the coal and have a look. I think we want to get rid of a lot of the coal as well. Ten k, eight point. Oh, that, that's a lot of coal for one miner. I think we can uh, quite easily just move a few of these miners. Maybe not that one since it have the uh, the green uh, wires. But this we could. Uh, there we have the miner. Could move that over there. Move that over here. Let's grab that lamp. There we go. This I don't think we can move. I don't think we have anything over here. Here basically. This we can move. Oh, uh, okay. That was actually one miner using that power pole. But we just add another one over here instead. And it's all good. And let's get rid of these and put more miners in place there we go and up here up here it's harder but 4k and 1.8k we don't really need it up there oh but we do need uh, another power pole so the coal we have that under control I think Copper, I think we have that under control. The iron, we kind of have that under control. The power we have under control. Let's have a look at it. Oh, we don't have. Or do we? Oh, the accumulators haven't charged fully. Why haven't the accumulators charged? Or is it because it's. Uh, oh, it's because it's actually morning. That's fair enough. So the accumulators, when it's becoming morning, they are still halfway charged. 
and I can't see if we are using it. Yeah, we are using a bit of uh, coal, I think. But it, that's not a problem, really. Let's look. Oh. This one should, of course, go up there. There we go. Oh, and we do have iron gear wheels. Let's get that into the belt production, shall we? Yeah, I think that um, basically what we can do right now is to wait. No more lubricant, but we have oil. Oh yeah, the light oil have filled up. We started the creation of these two tanks last episode and then forgot about them. There we go. Now we should get a bit of space so that we can get more lubricant, process all of the beautiful oil we have over here and get more belts. Petroleum gas looks fine. Okay, so now we are producing belts again. Oh, we have t way too many miners. Let's get those rem ah, let yeah, let's get all of them removed then. Well, uh, oh, there we go. I think I want a few more long distance power poles. There we go. Maybe a few long-handed inserters. Do we have any inserters? No. Let's get a few more of those. Like that. Uh, we do want to get rid of that. What about the stone brick? Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of it all. I did not mean to, but hey. That's what it is. Oh, and we do have seven damaged laser turrets. Let's repair them and pick them up again. I was not aware of uh, picking up damaged laser turrets. But we are lucky they were the same amount of damaged. Okay. So we basically have everything. Oh, I forgot about that. What? Where do we have a substation? We should do this research afterwards to get the substation to make it way easier to set up uh, the new area. We don't need as much space. What are we needing for the modular armor? Maybe that's what we should be looking at, actually. And I think it's the green science packs. Yep, it's inserters. Iron and a little bit of copper. Let's create just a few inserters. I don't even know... Oh, it takes a hundred of each. That's not too too bad. And the substation. Oh, that takes a hundred as well. But it takes advanced circuits and that's a pain. But not to be worried. Five of those. Oh, do we have any green circuits? Yes, we do. Not a lot of them though. So it might be a better idea to do what we have already started, creating them, uh, creating even the circuits manually. There we go. Belts, belts, yeah we have a bunch of belts and we have like 235 more of them so let's grab a bunch of belts i guess a 
And now we should get a bunch of uh, substations being created. How is it with power? We still have enough power, no worries. But why aren't these picking things up all the time? I'm actually gonna make a save file of this and report it. Anyway, thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.